Hi, now welcome to the last question in the tutorial, question 10. 10a. Calculate the internal energy of 4 mole of a polyatomic gas at 12 degrees Celsius. Okay, so information we have. Okay, the ask, question asks us to find the internal energy, which is U. We have the number of mole. We know it is a polyatomic gas. Polyatomic gas that has the total degree of freedom six. Ah uh, yes, polyatomic. Polyatomic has six degree of freedom. Okay, six degree of freedom. Poly polyatomic. And we have the temperature degree in degree Celsius. Uh, but we have to change to Kelvin. Okay, make sure everything in SI unit before you substitute into equation. So temperature degree Celsius need to change to Kelvin. So okay. So I accumulate the information here. We have the number of mole, 4 mole. Polyatomic gas has 6 degree freedom. The temperature is 12 degrees Celsius. So degree Celsius need to change to Kelvin. Okay? You must change to SI unit first. So plus 273. Okay, plus 273. So you get 285 Kelvin. Okay, before we use this equation, and when we when we substitute the temperature. This, remember, this temperature need to be in Kelvin. Yeah, need to be in Kelvin. You put degree Celsius, it's wrong already. Okay, the temperature need to put Kelvin. Okay, so what's the internal energy of gas? Internal energy of gas is the same as the total kinetic energy of the whole gas. Uh, so, you refer to the total kinetic energy of all gas. Yeah? Total kinetic energy means it refers to all degree of freedom and of gas. Of gas means of the whole gas. The whole gas has many, many molecules, which is N molecules. N is the total molecules in the gas. Okay? Uh, so, internal energy is the total kinetic energy of the whole gas. So, how to find the total kinetic energy of the whole gas? Uh, we start with the energy, the kinetic energy for 1 degree freedom. And kinetic energy for 1 degree freedom is half kT. Half kT times uh, the number of degree freedom. So how many degree of freedom for polyatomic gas? Polyatomic gas has 6 degree freedom. Uh, so this F, you need to put 6 later on. Yeah, 6. Multiply by the total molecules. Uh, so total molecules we have total yeah uh, because uh, this this is the total kinetic energy of, of the whole gas yeah internal energy of the gas of the whole gas uh, so it's the total kinetic energy of the whole gas the whole gas has n molecules that's why we multiply the number of molecules yeah multiply by the number of molecules so which is the big n the total molecules do we have the big n no we have the number of mole so how to proceed? Uh, we can either find the total molecules n is equal to uh, the number of mole multiplied by the Avogadro constant. Okay, number of mole multiplied by Avogadro constant, we get the big N. Then we can substitute here and we can calculate the answer. Uh, but for me, I prefer the other formula. Okay, let me show you. Okay, once this uh, multiply inside, we have F over 2 and KT. Uh, we have F over 2, uh, F over 2 and KT. Uh, this is the, this is the, uh, the, the formula for the total kinetic energy of the whole gas. Okay? So, do you see the NKT here? Uh, we learned that, we learned before, uh, PV, PV is equal to uh, NKT, uh, PV also equal to and RT. Uh, so that means uh, NKT is the same as NRT or also the same as PV. So this NKT I can change to NRT. I can change to NRT. So it is uh, F over 2 and RT. Uh, so for, from these two equation, the big N and the small N, I use the nRT, the small n, because I have the number of mole. The number of mole already given, 4 mole. Uh, so I better off use the formula nRT. Uh, 
So, uh, you also can use the NKT, but first you must find the total N first. Yeah, by using the number of mole multiplied Avogadro constant. Then you get the big N, then you can use the NKT. Uh, but if you want more direct formula, you use the NRT. Uh, because we already have the number of mole. So why not you just use the straight away formula, NRT, the number of mole, instead of the total molecules. Okay, so I use this one. Uh, okay, so how many degree freedom? Okay, how many degree freedom? F, so it is a polyatomic gas, polyatomic, so it has 6 degree freedom. So I put in 6 value, 6 degree freedom. And then what is the number of mole? The number of mole is 4, number of mole. So you just put 4 there. 4 number of mole. And then what is the R? R is, um, what is the value of R? 8.31. 8.31. Uh, you can find the value of R from list of constant. Okay, temperature. Temperature in degrees Celsius. You must change to Kelvin. Uh, how to change Kelvin? You plus 273. Yeah, plus 273. You no need to plus 273.15. Yeah, no need, no need to use the 0.15. You can just use the 273. If you use 273.15, also can. Yeah, you have two choices. You can either use 273 or 27, yeah, or 273, sorry, or 273.15. So both accepted. Yeah, both accepted. But we normally, we normally just use 273. We don't use the 273.15. Yeah, we normally just use 273. So degree Celsius must change to Kelvin first before we substitute into the equation. If you use degree Celsius to substitute that right, uh, right away, then you are wrong. Okay, the temperature must be in Kelvin. So you change to Kelvin already. Uh, so which is 285 Kelvin. So, uh, so we can substitute here. Uh, how many degree, uh, temperature? 285 Kelvin. So just put 285 Kelvin. Yeah, 285 Kelvin. So, uh, okay. So what's the answer? Uh, which is, uh, you get 2.84 uh, exponent 4 Joule. Okay. Uh, that's the internal energy of gas, uh, of the whole gas. So use the... Uh, is this formula f equal to nrt we, we because we have the number of mole four mole uh, so you just use the formula nrt nrt is the same as nkt or same as pv also okay so this is the internal energy of gas okay the internal energy of the whole gas which has total n molecules okay or total n number of mole okay so this is the Kinetic energy, the total kinetic energy of the whole gas. So now, uh, the next question. Calculate the change in internal energy for 3 moles of hydrogen gas if it is heated from 273 Kelvin to 323 Kelvin. So the question asks for the change. Uh, the change in internal energy. It asks for change of internal energy. It doesn't ask for internal energy. Uh -huh, be careful. So change of internal energy is delta U. Yeah, delta U. And then we have the number of mole. The number of mole is N. Hydrogen gas uh, is a... Uh, hydrogen gas is a diatomic gas. Yeah, diatomic gas. It has um, um, hydrogen gas, uh, a diatomic gas. So it has uh, how many degree freedom? It has 5 degree freedom. Okay. It's a total of 5 degree freedom. So now, um, next. Heated from this temperature to that temperature. So we have, uh, we have the initial temperature and also the final temperature. And we want to find the change in internal energy. Okay, initial and final temperature. So, okay, information I've written down here. So what is the change in internal energy? Okay, change in change means the delta. So what is delta U? I need to find this one. We have the number of mole, 3 moles. We know it is a hydrogen gas. So it is a diatomic gas. Diatomic gas has total 
uh, has a total of 5 degree freedom. Okay, the atomic gas has 5 degree of freedom. And uh, we have the initial and final temperature. Okay, this one. So we have initial and final temperature. Okay, so we want to find the change in internal energy, which is the final internal energy minus the initial internal energy. Uh, so what's the formula for internal energy? Formula for internal energy is actually the total kinetic energy of gas. Okay, internal energy is the total kinetic energy of the whole gas. Of the whole gas. Uh, so just now the question A, we already got derived the formula for the internal energy of gas. So formula for internal energy is uh, F over 2 NKT or F over 2 NRT. So which one we use? NKT or NRT? Yeah. The question already gives us the number of mole. You see that? The question already gives us the number of mole. Uh, we already have the number of mole. So, the internal energy formula we use, NRT. Because we already have the number of mole, we use the formula NRT. Uh, yeah, NRT. So, uh, okay, this is the general formula for internal energy. If a uh, number of mole is provided, okay. Now, change in internal energy is the final internal energy uh, minus the Initial internal energy. Uh, final minus initial internal energy. So let us uh, rewrite the formula. So change in internal energy is uh, um, F over 2 uh, uh, NR. Temperature changes only, isn't it? Yeah, only the temperature changes. Only the temperature changes. So uh, we use the uh, final internal energy minus the uh, initial initial internal energy. Uh, okay, F O two N R T minus F O two N R T. Final minus initial. So if you look carefully, we has uh, the common F O two N R. The common F O two N R can be factored out. Uh, F over 2 and R can be factored out. You get the final minus initial temperature over here. Okay? Uh, so, uh, this, is, uh, this is actually delta U. Uh, so, delta U also equal to F over 2 and R. Uh, this is uh, um, uh, delta T. Okay? Uh, change in internal energy. Uh, maybe I should put here. Uh, never mind. Yeah? Okay. So, um, T final minus T initial. T final minus T initial is the change in the temperature. Yeah? Change in temperature. So, you can find change of internal energy now. Yeah? Uh, so, what is the value of F? How many degree freedom? Yeah. This one is uh, hydrogen gas. Hydrogen is a diatomic gas. So, diatomic gas, the degree freedom is 5. So, put 5 here. Yeah? 5 degree freedom. Okay, 5 degree freedom. So, number of mole. Uh, number of mole is 3. Yeah? 3 moles. So, put 3 moles there. Okay? 3 moles. And then, R is 8.31. You got this value from list of constant. Okay, number of mole is 3, 8.31. And then change in temperature. Change in temperature from initial to final. There is a change in, there is an increase in temperature. So the increase uh, we put here. Yeah, the change in the temperature we put here. So which is the T final minus the T initial. So which is a T final uh, minus the initial temperature, which is a 2... Sorry, which is uh, 273 Kelvin. Uh, Alright. Uh, the final 323 minus the initial temperature 273 Kelvin. Okay. Now, uh, calculate. Let's calculate. Degree freedom is 5. Degree freedom is 5 for, mon for diatomic. Diatomic is 
five degree freedom. Okay, so we can calculate now. Um, uh, let's calculate. So if I were to, to this one, we calculate. We got the form, the answer. Um, three point one one six uh, exponent three joule, uh, which is also three point one one six uh, kilo joule. Uh, okay. Uh, three point one six kilo joule. So, uh, conclusion. Um, so if polyatomic, the if you must check what type of gas, what type of gas. Sometimes it's a polyatomic. Sometimes it's a diatomic, like hydrogen. Polyatomic can be also like uh, uh, carbon dioxide gas. Uh, carbon dioxide gas. Yeah, carbon dioxide gas is a polyatomic gas. Uh, more than two, if the yes, more than two atoms, like three atoms, four atoms, uh, it is a polyatomic gas. So carbon dioxide. So uh, polyatomic has six degree freedom. Hydrogen has five degree freedom. Diatomic gas. This is a diatomic gas. Uh, monoatomic gas is only three degree freedom. So the magic, the magic number is three five six. Okay. So first of all, you must check what type of gas is polyatomic or diatomic or monoatomic. After that, see is it number of mole or the total molecules. If it is a number of mole, and uh, then you use the formula uh, NRT, FO2 NRT. If it is, uh, it gives you the total molecules, big N, and uh, then you use the formula NKT. Uh, if we don't give you, you just use the pressure and volume. Okay. So make sure the temperature must change to Kelvin first. Yeah. So um, yeah. So that's it for this series of tutorial questions. I hope you understand. Uh, if anything you don't understand, uh, don't be afraid to uh, comment below. And if you like the videos, please share my channel to all your friends. Okay. I uh, hope uh, they also uh, subscribe. And so that this channel can, can continue going and I will try to uh, uh, cover the semester 2 syllabus uh, next time. Okay, see you again. Bye.